I will try this beef dumpling. I hope it's not as spicy as the chicken dumpling. It also has some maybe, maybe onion. It maybe it has maybe some chives in it, and it's not that spicy. Same as the chicken dumpling. This has more meat compared to the wrapper, so this is a good meat and wrapper ratio. I like this beef dumpling better than the chicken. Why? Because the chicken is very spicy and this one has no spice at all. This uh, indomie might be ready now. The sauce is, uh, the, the noodles is cooked. So we'll drink the water and add the flavor. So now we're adding in the flavor for this one. This is the flavor for the seasoning. Then this is onion, fried onion. Chicken barbecue fried noodle that we're tying. So we'll mix it together and see how it comes out. So this is how it looks. There is no flavor, it's just, uh, I mean, there's no vegetables, it's just the noodles and the sauce. So go we'll try it. Maybe I overcooked the noodles a little bit because it's so soft. The noodles, uh, as I mentioned, is a little bit soft already. And the flavor is it's sweet. That's what I could taste. It's not salty. There's a little bit of salt, but not a strong salty flavor. And uh, I haven't, I cannot taste the barbecue. It is. Uh, Noodles. Maybe later on I will try again. Yeah, there's some smoky taste, but the, the one that's overwhelming the taste is the sweetness of the sauce. Maybe if I put in a little bit of the chili sauce, it will be neutralized. Try just a drop of it. Oops. Just to change the flavor a little bit. I think the flavor didn't. Really, because all the things I've been eating is hot, so I'm really perspiring right now. So for this um, cup noodle, th there is uh, the, the, the thing that I could taste in this um, cup noodles is the sweetness and a little bit smoky taste. So maybe that is from the barbecue flavor. But uh, I can I can taste the chicken at all. Also, uh, it's just plainly the, the noodles and the sauce combined with the noodles. There is no other uh, vegetable that would at least uh, brighten the appearance or add crunch to the to this chicken barbecue flavor. Although there was a fried onion, I think it had become soft also together with the, with the noodles. And it's not my favorite, it's just the raw regular Indomie noodles or maybe even our pancit canton will be better than this one. So next we will try this curry, the original curry from Coca. So this is uh, Singaporean noodles. I'm very really curious really about how this will taste. I hope it's not spicy. So while waiting for the noodles to cook, uh, to cook a little bit more, let's have some more momo. I think this is a garlic chicken momo, not a butter chicken momo. Mm. There's some vegetables inside and there's a good ratio of chicken 
Actually, the, the chicken is more than the, the pepper. So this is a good moment. Let's check. I think this, the noodles is quite cooked already. Let's try some of it. Still dripping. The noodles is still firm. It's not soggy. That is the difference between the noodles of coca and indomie. The noodles of indomie tends to cook faster and it became soggy faster. But this one, even though it has been maybe 3 minutes or 4 minutes already, it's, the noodles is still firm. I can taste a little bit flavor of the curry from the noodles and it's a little bit spicy. I'm sure when I start drinking the soup, then I will really feel the burn, the spice from the, the soup. Now we'll apply the soup. Ah. It's <clears throat> very flavorful. It's spicy, but it can still I can still tolerate the spice. We'll eat some more of the momo. Hmm. This is the chicken mold. The soup is also good. So even though this curry is a little bit spicy and it's hot, I am really enjoying it. So next we'll try this um, chicken sota mold. So I have added in the water and we'll just wait for some time for it to cook. So for I, I was drinking this coconut water to, to clean my tongue with the spice. Now we'll check this uh, noodles. The sotangho noodles is transparent, see? And it's really very hot. I can smell the sm strong smell of garlic. So let's let it cool for a while. This really is very good. I still have the spice from the previous noodle, so, so that I will be able to appreciate the taste of this one. But because of the spice and the heat from, from the previous soup, I think my tongue is a little bit sensitive to heat now. <laughs> it's really hurting whenever I put something hot. The Sotangho noodles is rubbery and um, it is able to absorb some of the, the the flavor from the soup it's it cannot absorb much compared to the white noodles this is really very hot so we'll try to taste the soup from this chicken sotangon um it's mildly flavored it's not salty You could really taste the broth of the chicken from this soup, but it's not uh, as strong. Uh, but the flavor is not as strong as the previous uh, noodles. These noodle soups are good when it's when you have a cold weather and you just want something hot. You can try these noodle soups. Actually, now that the noodles have soaked a little bit more in the, the soup I could taste the flavor more on the noodles so it's also absorbing the flavor and it's a good thing I really enjoyed the noodle soup plus the momo and dumpling combination that I had today so I just have to eat some fruits because I still have because I still can feel the burning from the curry noodle soup that I had. So these are some thin best grapes. It's really crunchy. I got this also from Curry 4. It helped in subsiding the heat in my tongue right now. So this is a really good dessert. So before I end uh, my vlog for today, I would just like to comment that I really like the coca curry and chicken noodle soup that I had. 
the so tanghon soup was also okay but it's not as good as the coca noodle soup actually i have not tried coca noodle soup before but i heard from my friends that it's a good uh, brand so that's why i tried it and it did not fail my expectation so if you ever see a coca brand of uh, noodle soup try it out it's uh, a it really has a good quality noodles and also the taste is very good also if you see uh, some dumplings or momos in uh, Lulu it's also good to try it because right now I had them because um, they have this food festival these momos and dumplings don't come regularly I although I see some shomai sometimes but they they were available this time because there's a spices flavor food fest right now in Lulu. So if you ever see them, try them. It's also good. I also recommend their momos and dumplings, especially the beef dumpling. It's really very good, flavorful, and the meat inside is very moist. So that's it for now. If you liked our video for today, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be updated whenever I will have a new upload. So until our next video, this has been Lorraine reminding you that God loves you. Bye-bye!